Hey everybody, we're in another instructional game. This time I'm playing against Pox Pro 13. Uh, he's playing Kathir Forest, and I'm playing Bob Bruins. And it's my turn, so I haven't played Barbarians in a freaking long time. Not since before Savage was changed, so. <laughs> oh, yes, I do want you to rage. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put out a Barbarian. Guardian, so I can get camaraderie going, and uh, we'll see. I'm going to talk directly to you, Pox Pro 13. See what you, what you shit out this turn, and where you deploy. On Ruins of Valdak, I like to deploy right here. In your case, it would be right here. Oh, okay, deploy there. See, but if you, if you. The thing, good, I mean, if you have an 8-speed champ, or even 7-speeds, it's worth it, I guess, to go and just grab this font the next turn, but what I like to do is I like to deploy it here, and then that way you can go, you can either go for the center, or you can go for your own font, you have a choice. Um, I mean, obviously not a big deal, um, but we're gonna go ahead, ooh, I have an obstructed view, does unobstructed view hit uh, combat awareness? Okay, we're gonna put out Veteran Barbarian my favorites. And um, there we go. So Elven Shade getting your font. Good job. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get my font with Barb Guardian. Move up with uh, that Barb. Could throw down a Nora mine, but I don't think I'll worry about it yet. Might want to blink. <laughs> anyway, um, you got the right build on Elven Shade, so good job. And there's a Fairy Trickster and an Elven Blade Master. Fairly standard champions. Go ahead and dodge there. Um, we'll go ahead and put out a uh, bolt. And turn. Barbarian bolt. Oh, I was about to say he's back down to 81, but that's because of camaraderie. So what? What did you just do? You did an herbal antidote. Oh, why, why did you cast that? Um, okay, um, that was a complete waste of Nora. I suppose you did it for the heal, but you really should save Herbal Antidote for cleansing on something like blind or, uh, just, just, Anything other than to just heal. Or, you know, sometimes if you want to give immunity poison, if you're playing against a poison battle group or a disease battle group, which those don't exist. But, yeah, you should never do it just to heal. Pretty much never. Just going to kind of move around a little bit. Don't really worry about it yet. I'm going to go ahead and put out a Huntress. So now everybody has Savage, basically Perseverance. And, um, not really going to worry about it yet. Just end my turn there. I'll see what you do. I'm not really going to worry about detecting that Elven Shake, so I want to see what you do with her. So, dodge your attack with Vet Barb. Moving in. Of course you activated melee specialist. What you should have done is you should have attacked with uh, Elven Shade first. And uh, I have Rebuke on my uh, Barb Bolt by the way. So Horn of Order, when you're in range of Rebuke, hurts you a lot. And uh, your Elven Shade is definitely, definitely dead, I would say. Well not definitely pretty certain that she's dead. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Um, let's see, I have uh, 
melee specialist too. So uh, if you wanted to do more damage to me, what you should have done is you should have waited to move in with Blade Master. See, like now it goes back down to two or whatever. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna just gonna move in like this. We're gonna calculate the damage real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Um, 8, 16, 27, 16, 3. So what I'm going to do here, actually, I don't mind uh, using up Nora to make sure that you're dead. Uh, I'm going to do a hammer strike. Oh, you have Rock Eater now. That is very interesting. So now I actually can't attack you with anything. Um, I am going to, however, hmm, I can't do that either. Damn. So you, uh, you pretty much put everything into this elven shade right here. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna do a Nexus Aura. And then we, uh, split the damage. Hmm. I'll actually, I'll, I'll attack with, uh, bolts. So I wasted a hammer strike, unfortunately. But, um, what can you do? I'm gonna go ahead and move over here so that I get melee specialist uh, benefits and I stay in range of uh, Nexus Aura. So that protection kind of messed me up, otherwise, she would have been dead. Dagdapede, why? Say I'm annoying? Okay. So Elven Shade stealths again. I don't actually know what song that is. So anyway, we'll see if we can't save uh, Veteran Barbarian from potentially dying. There we go. So the only downside of this is that Barb Bolt's taking some damage. Um still doing your attacks, not actually taking much damage at all from it. I don't know where your Elven Shade went. I'm not actually sure if Unstructed View will reveal her or not. But I'm not really worried, so... Put up. Actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to kill your Fairy Trickster. Because that's what I want to do, so... Oh, there's your Elven Shade. Oh, that sucks. Can I move out? Aw. Okay. Well, she's there messing things up. What I'm actually going to do is, um... Oh, I can move out. Good. I'm going to go ahead and attack with uh, Guardian, scramble everything. Um, I'll attack your Elven Shade. Twice. Attack Barb Huntress. Should put out a trap. And then, uh, <laughs> Veteran Barbarian attacks. So, uh, I've only got Ren 1 on you, so you'll be fine. You won't die yet. Let's move four over a little bit. I actually didn't kill every anything this turn. And uh, sadly what I could have done is I could have put out Veteran Barbarian for Motivate and gotten more damage out of my attacks, but I did not. So actually what I'm gonna do is uh, do a Sapping Beam on your uh, Elven Shade. Playing pretty bad. Um, but hopefully you can still learn something. So Fairy Trickster is eviscerated and she's gonna die unless you heal her. Which I'm fine with. There's another Elven Shade. Uh, Metamorphosis on Barbarian Guardian. So I lose Savage. Which I'm fine with because Venom Barbarian is the only one that's near death. The rest of them are just fine. And uh, I'm not really sure why you attacked the boar, but okay. So you 
got weary on Fairy Trickster, which is annoying. But that's fine. Again, I'm not sure what you're thinking with that herbal antidote. Um, I think you poured too much Nora into trying to keep Elven Shade alive. Um, maybe you put escape magic on her. Oh good, she's dead. I was about to say. Um, yeah, Fairy Trickster definitely dead. Charge ya. Or she block it. Charge you again. And then move over here a little bit. And now I'm gonna put out Bastion the Avenger. So everybody has Savage again. And, uh, wait, you have Rock Eater on Elven Blade Master too? How did I not notice that? I guess I was too busy charging. So yeah, I don't know why you cast protection on him. Hmm. Did I just heal you with my charges? I guess I did. Well, I mean, I've still got Barbarian Bolt, and as long as he exists, I'll be fine. And, uh... Use a lot of Nora actually um, using those protections, and they haven't stopped me from killing the champions. So, oh, and if you're wondering, if you're watching this and you're wondering, I do run Crusader so I can Blood Rage her, or him, I should say. There's a Reclaim, so these guys are pacified, which I'm fine with. Attacking Veteran Barbarian. Of course, he lives, so. Pacified. I'm gonna actually cap the font. I definitely would have deployed another champion instead of uh, um, casting that reclaim. It's not really gonna stop me. Uh, but anyway, what if I can lightning storm? Sometimes you can do weird stuff like that. Okay. Well. Go ahead and move my veteran barbarian in the way of your blade master. Play another boulder trap. So I capped your font. Not good for you. I'll put out another veteran barbarian. And that's the end of my turn. So that is my font, and that. At this point, it's pretty much good game. There's not a whole lot you can do. Withering Fern. Um, in order for Withering Fern to uh, counteract Savage, you have to activate it first, so... I hope you remember to attack him. Okay, well... We'll see if he dies or not. I haven't played much with the new Savage. Yeah, he, he still lived, so... I'm gonna go ahead and attack you. With him. So, Elven Shade. I'm gonna go ahead and just put my War Banner there, too. In with Guardian. And uh, you've still got Rock Eater. But uh, I have Nexusora, so there you go. And attack with a uh, Bolt. You're going to dodge it, of course. Move over here. And, um,. Gonna Nexus Aura. Actually, what I'm gonna do. I'll just I'll Nexus Aura right here. Go, do it. 
Why won't you do it? You won't Nexusora. That's very strange. Huh. He will not. He refuses to Nexusora. Perhaps I am disconnected. Let's check. No, I'm not. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and sapping beam then. I'm fine with spending that Nora. So Elven Shade attacking the uh, Iron Fist standard. Fine with me. Just like to point out, I'm not ver I'm not playing very well at all right now either. So. There's that. A lot of these times, uh, a lot of times like these in uh, instructional games, I'll be playing battle groups I'm not really used to, and this is one of them. So uh, you took care of my war banner, and of course my Tempest Boar can't contest. There's a Thorn Collection. <clears throat> and there we go. So I'm gonna. Charge your sh I'm gonna charge your uh, war banner. We're gonna go ahead and attack once. Scramble, and actually, I'm just gonna attack twice with Bastion. I'll do combo attack, devastate, die. I'll get battle leader. I'll move back into the font. Let's get it with him. Um, move over here. And, uh, and then here. So like I said, game's pretty much over. I've got a ton of Nora, and now I have uh, two of the fonts. You have zero, so. Um, I think it's about this point in the uh, video, or in the previous two videos that I've started, uh, Trying to give main insights as to, the, as to why you lost. Um, I would say you spent way too much Nora um, trying to heal or protect your champions. There was that bizarre herbal antidote that uh, you really shouldn't have played. You should never play a spell, especially not a spell that expensive, just to heal for 4 HP. Um, you should pretty much never do that. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rush your shrine so we can get this over with. No offense. Um, I'll attack. And uh, two attacks from my nine damage huntress. as well with Blood Rage. And I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and the two protections didn't really help you that much, especially when you used a protection on a Elven Blademaster. Basically turned that champion into a, you know, 100 Nora, <laughs> uh, you know, Elven Blademaster, basically, with, that just has Rock Eater. And I don't think it was worth it for you. I don't think that the protection and the Horn of Order on um, Elven Shea was worth it. I think basically, is that a Blinding Flash? Huh. I really wouldn't have cast Blinding Flash on Barbarian Bolt. I would have cast it on uh, probably Bastion. And um, yeah, I think, uh, I mean, Horn of, Horn of Order is a 40 Nora, a 40 Nora equip. Horn of War is a 4 or equip. I believe protection is, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that protection is uh, 45 Nora. So you spend a lot of Nora trying to 
keep your champions alive. Um, I mean, you know, with Earl Antidote, that's another 40, correct? And so, I mean, that's a lot of Nora that you spent trying to keep them alive and it didn't end up working out for you. Let's go ahead and see if this works. I'm not convinced that it does. Combat awareness. Oh, yay! There you are. Well, I'm going to stay the hell away from you for a second. Ha! <laughs> um, what we're going to do now... I'm going to put out a wild Chufun. Anyway, I mean, game is pretty much over. So, th th that's the main thing that I noticed. I, I mean, I just think that you should have... That you were... That you would be better off... Um... Spending that Nora on champions instead of, uh... Protection spells and things like that. I mean, add up all together, I think it was somewhere around 165 Nora that you spent on those protections, that Herbal Antidote and that Orn of Order, which didn't actually net you any kills either. Um, and you could have deployed two pretty stocky champions for that, um, around the 80 Nora, uh, uh, 80 Nora range. So, um, And when you're playing against Barbarians, you really need to um, overpopulate them to win. So, uh, ooh, rebuke activated on your avatar. That's interesting. My frame rate dropped really low. Ooh, it's it's crawling now. Okay, I'm not sure why my frame rate is going so slowly. Uh, but anyway, we're just gonna end this game. Um, ah, damn it. Yeah, my, my client is going really slow right now. I'm not really sure why. But yeah, th those are the main things that I would say to you. Uh, let's try to help you out. Um, just uh, be more cost wary for sure. Because I think that that really hurts you. Because I, I just destroyed you in the Nora game. Ooh, you might... Uh, well, this sucks. Two attacks from Bastion. No, I didn't actually kill you. That's okay. Oh, damn it. Since I have a ton of Nora, I'm just gonna do a hammer strike. I'm gonna do a war banner. over. Cornea. So, yeah, that's about what I'd say. Just, um, deploy more champions. Don't try to keep them alive that much. Especially not champions that are not worth trying to expend resources to keep alive, like Elven Blade Master. I mean, that's the entire point of Elven Blade Master, is that he's a cheap uh, shield you can just sort of throw out in front of, the, uh, front of your opponent. They get in the way that he's got block, dodge, and, you know, got absolutely, he's got an absolutely phenomenal cost. So, you know. Just stuff like that. So, Crusader. I'm gonna try to end it here. We'll do an uh, Insight Rage. I'll attack twice. Anyway, um, I hope this was helpful. <laughs> I only had to attack once. I hope this was helpful and I uh, hope you can use this to improve your game. And uh, thanks for watching! Anybody else that's watching, if you want me to do this with you, just contact me in-game. I'll play in Training Grounds and make a video out of it. Hopefully you can learn. Okay, I'll see you guys later.